I would so totally dance to this if I were more than just a cat. Hello everyone, I am Third Mario Brother. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 3D World. In the last episode, we continued World 8 or World Bowser. With these two levels, visited our good friend Plessy, and in this episode, we are going to be continuing with the world. Starting with, uh, level 6, a beam in the dark. And I have no idea if that's a pun on anything, and if it is, I'm sorry, but I totally missed it. But yeah, here we go, starting out with Luigi. Fitting that we play the coward in the, uh, ghostly level. I believe that Luigi doesn't have a ghost of a chance of getting out of this alive. I'm sorry, that joke didn't even fit here. It does not belong in this episode whatsoever, but I, you know, it came to my mind, and I was like, hey, I understand that... Oh my gosh, I love how... Whoa, 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 when you do the flippy thing with the cat, the light flips over as well. That is a really, really nice detail, and I like that, but hey! Uh, lucky that the randomizer gave us Luigi, because, uh, apparently you need Luigi to, uh, get the stamp of this level, and I missed that pal block there, and I'm sure that the pal block, uh, actually, you know, means something, and probably would have gotten us, like, the first green star or something like that, but let's go ahead and take this dude out, just because he's big doesn't mean anything to me, is this gonna fall? Yep. Well, it didn't fall, it just sort of disappeared, but anyway, uh, here is a green star, and it is the first one of the level, so apparently that power block didn't really mean anything in the end anyway. But yeah, we have mirrors here, so we have sort of a mirror hall gimmick going on, so we have to look in those to find possible secrets, and, uh, is that a mirror? No, that's another part of the level. <laughs> See, the thing with the mirrors is that I can never really tell apart the mirror from the a- <laughs> I know it was scary, Luigi, but you didn't have to end everything to get away from it. Uh, what was I saying, though? Oh, yeah. I have trouble differentiating, differentiating the mirror from the real, real, you know, real world's words. Oh, dang it, I lost my light. And we're back at this bit again. Yeah, that seems to be the only, like, technical problem I can really find with this game, is that the depth perception at times can be just a wee bit troublesome. Except it's not that big of a deal, it doesn't come up all that often, so it really doesn't inhibit the gameplay that much. You know, of course, I would prefer it without the issue, but it's not like end-all, be-all of the game, like, take the game from a 10 down to a 2 or anything like that. It comes up once in a while, and it's just a little bit of an annoyance, and it never really makes you replay levels all that much. So you know what? It's not that big of a deal. Let's go ahead and grab our light once again so that we might combat our ghastly enemies and their ghastly ways. But yeah, this is the way to kill ghosts in this game, apparently. You have to shine green light on them instead of just normal light, but... I see you over here, Mr. Purple Box. We're gonna have to kill all these boos, and that is fairly easy because you can... Since they're sort of transparent, the light will go through them, and you can kill, like, all of them at once. And I'm sure it's, uh, it's simple enough to do it, like, the way I just did it, just really, really quickly. Like, actually kill all of them at once, instead of one by one by one by one by one by one. And I hope that was actually the number of ghosts there were in that room. If that was, that would be really cool, but I have no idea where I'm going. If it wasn't obvious enough already, so let's go ahead and get up there, because I feel... Okay. Can we just wall jump right here? That would be nice, because I feel like we should go in this door right here. Is that the door we need to go into? Yes, it is, and we are indeed progressing throughout the level, and whoa! Okay, this time the platform is a little bit, uh, lacking. It's a little bit disfigured, if you will, because we're missing a good half of it, almost. I don't know, I'm not a geomet ge geometrician? Is that a word? Geometrician? <laughs> I really have no idea. Geometrist? I don't know. I don't know anything about math except how to not pass it. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, we're continuing on with the level here, and it seems like a pretty slow-paced one, and, you know, the music really fits for a slow-paced level like this one. And it's not, like, bad, like, boring slow-paced. It's actually kind of cool slow-paced. Although, again, there's not... Whoa! Oh, boy. Okay, now we have to deal with all these guys without being able to actually, like, get rid of any of them. So this is gonna be an interesting one. And I sure hope we didn't need that headband or... What is it? Wow, okay, just let the guy walk into you, why don't you? Uh, I sure hope we didn't need that thing to get the last green star. It doesn't look like it, though. It'd just be a lot easier to get it with that. We're just gonna have to lure this big old boo out of the way. And there we go. Last green star of the level. Uh, how do we get out of- Oh god, they're coming for me. The army of undead has come for my carcass. Uh, can we get around you? Is your butt small enough? Yes, it is. We squeezed right past it, which was really awkward. I'm sorry if I touched it. I mean, I- Swear I didn't mean it in a weird way, but either way, we can just jump from the top there and get the golden flagpole very easily. So there we go, fly that big L. 
And we 100% at a level on our first try, guys. Oh my gosh, it finally happened. Holy crap. Whoa. The thing I've been wishing for for like three centuries finally happened. I don't have to go back into a level afterward. Not that I really mind it that much. It's just sort of embarrassing when my gameplay is always balls awful. So, anyway, there we go. And it opens up yet another pipe. And I'm wondering if this is going to be another Fire Bros Fortress. Because we haven't seen one of those since Last World. And God knows how many of those there are in this universe. So, let's see. Is it? No, it is not. Instead, we get a nice old view of... Wow, that looks so cool. Of Bowser's real castle, I guess. But that is so amazing. Anyway, here we have Mystery House Claw Climb. What is this? It sounds like a cat suit base level. So uh, let's go ahead and check it out. Let's go randomize and see who we get. All right, we have Princess Peach, which may be not the best for a speed base level like this. But hello, Sprixie. How are you doing today? I hope very well. I hope you're not too bored sitting in here literally all day, every single day of your life. But, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Okay. So, we have a green star right there, and we can continue on from here, but, uh, is there anything else up here? Like a secret or anything? Because that would be kind of cool, because there's an awful lot of land here if that's the only thing in this room. Well, I guess it is. Okay. Well, whatever. Let's go ahead and go on. So, ooh, dang it, I didn't see that wall there. Fortunately, that's not going to be too much of an impediment to us, because we get 10 seconds for something that really takes probably 3 or 4 to uh, acquire. But, yeah, looks like the gimmick here is that we're going to have to climb a bunch of walls to uh, get the green stars that we desire. And there we go, got the third one. And, whoa, this is going to get really tricky really fast, I feel like, because it's using that gimmick already, so it's probably going to use, like, the uh, laser floor gimmick later on. Probably some other things that are going to make this really challenging, but that one was fairly straightforward, just sort of a big room. You know, I hope they get creative with these, because they have the potential to. Okay, this is a level we just played, and I guess we're going to have to get higher up in it this time. I guess the first one was just like a tutorial introduction sort of thing, like, hey, this is what you're doing, except you're going to have to do it better in a couple seconds here. So, there we go, beat that one, and, oh, this time around we have to, okay, it's repeating everything. So, how many of the original levels did we have? Three, four, so it's gonna repeat everything like twice or what? Because over here, all right, this one's slightly more complicated and we're gonna have to go up two walls instead of one. Or did we have two walls last time? I really don't remember, honestly. <laughs> oh god, but yeah, in this room, okay, how are we gonna go about this? I don't know. I guess we're just gonna jump over here and climb up the wall instead of climbing up the other wall. Wow! Okay, it's making things a little bit more challenging, but it's nothing like too terrible to handle, so, except I say that, and then this happens, so hit that pal block, and there you go, you can destroy all the blocks at once and not have to worry about crashing your cranium against them too much, except Mario, um, actually hits blocks with his fist ever since the original NES game, and apparently that was just a huge misconception, although, I'd sort of always thought he did it with his fists, but... Or did I? I? I don't remember what my beliefs were as a child anyway. There we go, got the last green star just in the nick of time. And there we go, 10 extra green stars to add to our arsenal of over, well over 200 now actually. And that's something you gotta give credit to the game designers for, finding 235 plus. I'm sure there's actually a lot more green stars than this because we have yet to tackle some special worlds, but... I think I've mentioned that like every episode for the past five episodes now, but finding hundreds and hundreds of places to hide things like that within levels um, and do it well and do it in a way that isn't totally just hackneyed, that, that to me is absolutely cool. Is there a secret over here? Yes, there is. Four coins that I could not have lived without. So thank you for saving my life. Good dance floor over there or whatever that is. Anyway, here we have Grumble Blump Inferno. <laughs> I love the name. Okay, Grumble Blump Inferno. We're gonna be playing with Blimbly Damp, by which I mean Toad. And here we go. Alright, got ourselves a cat suit to start off with. No secrets right off the bat, but okay, here we have a very sad block. Why are you so sad, block? Why are you rotating at such an incredibly difficult to keep up with speed? Okay, you're all content staying in your one place, but then when I get on top of you, you're not, you're not so content anymore. Is this your attempt to murder me? Because if so... It's actually a really good attempt, and I should not criticize it, because you know, it just worked. <laughs> Is this the Grumble Blump that we're talking about when we say Grumble Blump Inferno? I really have no idea. Are you just gonna dump the- oh, okay. Oh, those guys are there to be a tutorial to you. You can just walk around the- I see, I see. These mice, or rats, or gophers, or whatever they are, are smarter than me, but thank you for being there when I needed you, buddies. 
You truly did save my life. And I know you're Bowser's minions, and that's probably against exactly what you've been trying to do your entire life. But you know what? That it is not too late to change. You could come to the good side if you still so desired. And getting the green stars in this level, I feel like, is going to be super, super hard. <laughs> so this is going to take about 14 attempts to go through. Okay, go over here. And the Grumble Blump is going to keep on Grumble Blumping without our Grumble Blump on top of it. So we could just leave it to its own designs while we dork around on top of our little platform there and it looks like it has brought us to solid ground once again which is probably a good thing because I'm getting a little bit nervous riding around on that thing if I'm going to be completely honest like it's kind of nerve-wracking when at any moment you could just fall into a giant pit of lava and your entire life could end without your even knowing it because you wouldn't remain conscious for a long enough period of time to um, realize that every single one of your cells is being incinerated one by one, not one by one, some simultaneously because it's so gosh darn hot. You know what? I went to school for lava science and I learned that it is dang hot, so you better listen to me because man do I know what I'm talking about. Uh, I know so much about what I'm talking about that I just had to prove it to you that lava's deadly by jumping into it. Okay, this bit again. Let's see if we can do it a little bit better this time. Jump from there. There we go. Okay, got the stamp. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Not much better. But seriously? What? Come on. Ooh, ooh. ooh. Okay, <laughs> got the stamp that time, and I seem to have lived a little bit at least. So let's go ahead and jump into the lava to make sure I don't live for too much long. Man. All right, there we go, and that's how you get past that part without uh, destroying every inch of yourself. Man, all right, you know what? I asked for it. I'll admit it. I asked for a challenge. I think even last episode, I got myself a challenge. So you know what? Thank you, game, for proving me absolutely wrong. I am not good at video games, and I shall re forever remain that way. But that is all right. I have resigned to my destiny and have learned to accept it. So, uh, let's go ahead and make this grump- what's it- what is it? A grumble blump? A flimby flap? A dibbly dop? Something like that? I don't know. Let's go ahead and make this grumble blump, uh, frustrated with his life and whoa! We're gonna tilt up really high with this- oh! Yeah, they're getting creative with the shapes and making it a little bit more interesting, but yeah. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! <laughs> What marvelous commentary we have here, but yeah, that was the third green star. I was not expecting that thing right there, so it kind of threw me off a little bit, if you couldn't tell. Anyway, now these rats are finally getting on our way. That one just got burned to a crisp uh, beneath our very eyes, or in front of our very eyes. I really have no idea. Whoa, bull. No, 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 no! No, I was right there! Come on, no! Again. Twice! Twice that happened! No, God! Ah! Uh. Oh! Ah! Oh. <laughs> Come on, man! There goes the depth perception again. Ah! And again. Toad, what? Ah! No, 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 no. Okay. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. Okay. There we go. You know what? Missed the golden flagpole? I don't even care. We did the level. I lost like 40 freaking lives. But that's okay. We accomplished it. We cleared the course. We got 100% except for the golden flagpole. And you know what? I'm happy with it. Not exactly my kind of level. I like that there was an added challenge in there, sort of. Felt a little bit gimmicky to me, but there we go. We have completed that level 100% as well, and we got a cute stamper sticker. I don't even remember what they're called at this point to go along with it. So, that opens... What does that open? That opens two more levels. And those levels look like the Histocrat and Boss Blob stuff that we did earlier, so... I wonder if that's what that is. I really have no idea. Uh, let's go ahead and check it out. Motley Boss Blobs Encore, Encore, and yes, the Histocrat returns. So it looks like we're going to be facing bosses that we've already faced in the past, but 
What is this? Actually, well, whatever. Before we go ahead and finish, let's go ahead and check out what this is in here. Oh, it's a hidden toad house. All right, which is good because we don't have any power-ups at the moment. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves. Uh, what do we want? Let's go. I don't know. I'm going to stick to the goody, uh, oldies but goodies. Not that these are really old because these are the most recent power-ups. So the ones I just picked up are the ones that were just available to me. But let's go ahead and get ourselves the boomerang suit and the cat suit. And um, you know what? Why not? Let's go ahead and take on these bosses while we're here. What is this? This is a pipe, and that takes us to a place. What is that pipe going to take us to? Actually, before we get going with those bosses, let's see where this takes us. Just to a 1-up? Is that all that's available up here, or... Yeah, it's kind of looking like it. I really, really like these parts of the overworld that you don't think you'd be able to get to, but you can. Anyway, that was a really interesting angle to see this castle from, but let's go ahead and take on Mr. Motley Boss Blob. Take him on before the Histocrat, because the Histocrat got to shine first before, so let's end it with the Histocrat this time. And let's start off with Mario, and I wonder if the fight's going to be significantly different from how it was last time. Anyway, here we go. Let's grab ourselves our clone cherry and begin this fight. And we have a boomerang suit this time, so it should be a little bit easier because we should be able to take those little mercury bubble dudes out a little bit easier this time. Anyway, throw those boomerangs away just because. And here we go with the wizard of the Motley Boss Blob. Actually, I don't know if he's the Motley Boss Blob or if the Blob is the Motley Boss Blob, but I, I really don't know. Oh, it's golden this time. Things really are changing up, all right? So he's gonna do the same little bouncy thing, except this time he's gonna leave some shock waves for us to uh, deal with, which apparently I cannot deal with because I am absolutely inept, but yeah, he, is he running faster this time as well or is that just me? I really have no idea, but let's go ahead and grab ourselves our clone cherry, cat suited up, and deal with him this way. Uh, okay, he's still got shockwaves going on. He's gonna jump one more time this time. Uh, two more times, actually, because the first time he just jumped three times, and that time he jumped five. Can we get you? Yes, we can. There we go. Smacked you in the head, and we can grab ourselves yet another clone cherry. And now we have three Marios to work with, so we don't have to worry about losing our cat suit for quite some time, I hope, unless I just jinxed myself. But... You know what, I'm actually fairly confident in this, because this should be the last hit right here, and there we go! Defeated the Motley Boss Blob for a second time, and somehow lost our cat suit. <laughs> I guess it's sort of because I just dived into a crowd of enemies, and that's kind of to be expected when you do something like that. But anyway, let's go ahead and pick up all our coins with Mario and Mario. Get Mario into the pipe, and get Mario into the pipe, and we can finish up this level. There we go. Uh, fairly quick and fairly easy. It wasn't too, too much harder than the first time, so let's go ahead and get done with this. And, of course, we don't get to Sprixy again. But, you know, that was fun enough, and that was simple enough. And it's kind of interesting how they have the bosses at the end of World 8, I guess, which I guess is the last world of the main game. But that's something to be expected from games, because games have been doing that forever and forever. But there we go. Uh, completed that with Mario, and now let's move on to the other one, even if this episode's gonna be a little bit long. I wanna get everything out of the way so that we can focus all of our attention on that big old funky looking castle in front of us in the next episode. So, 239 green stars. That is quite the impressive number, if I do say so myself. But yeah, let's go ahead and save the game. And move on over to Mr. Histocrat. Mr. Histocrat, that sounds a little bit better than Histocrat because it's another is phoneme. But anyway, <laughs> let's start it off with Peach. And what did we use for this? Cat suits. That makes sense because it's the Histocrat. <laughs> I get it. It doesn't give us a cat suit though. But um, it gives us a cat suit within the battle if I remember correctly. And, it, and if it still does that. So anyway, let's go ahead and go down here. Utilize the momentum to get a nice big old jump because that's just always fun to do for some reason, and whoa, it's the Mystocrat this time. Get it? <laughs> oh man, puns and portmanteaus and all that sort of stuff. And do I get a cat suit at any point, Mrs. Histoc or Mystocrat? Whatever, I don't know, I can't even remember my own jokes, but uh, I can't tell if I get one at any point, so I'm just gonna go ahead and bounce on your crowned dome. And I know quite some things about crowned domes, if I might tell you. So yeah, it looks like pretty much the same battle as last time. We're not getting cat suits this time though, which is sort of strange, uh, because a bunch of people were telling me that the intended method of going about this is to run up it uh, with a cat suit. But you know what? This works just as well. I can bounce on her brain just as easily without a cat suit. Uh, maybe slightly more difficult, but um, yeah, you can run up the uh, little snakes that the Histocrat sends out and then jump on her very easily that way if you have a cat suit. But once again, 
Who needs cat suits, man? That's the lame, cheating way to go about it. Are you gonna... Okay, apparently I can't get up that way, so let's go ahead and jump on your broken plate, jump on your broken plate, and then break your plate, and there we go. The histocrat return, this time of a different gender. You know what? I'm not gonna judge. And we beat him slash her slash whatever uh, pronoun it prefers once again. Let's go ahead and grab our coins just because we can, and we've got plenty of time up there in the corner. And there we go. And I think, is that it for, I'm, I'm sure I'm missing something. I've got to be missing something somewhere because it seems to have gone by so quickly. Maybe just because it was so fun. But I think that does it 100% for World 8, aside from, of course, the castle at the very end. But we're not going to be able to do that this time. We will save the castle at the very end of World 8, of, at the very end of World Bowser, if you prefer, of course. For next time on Super Mario 3D World. So thank you all very much for watching. And I will see you guys then. Where we finish up this world. And finish up possibly the main game. And you know what? I really can't wait for it. Just the fact that this castle looks so cool. I really can't wait to see what it has in store for us. So thank you all very much once again for watching. And I will see you guys then. And here we go. The transition between the levels erects the staircase. And we are good to go.